Let's see, the quickest way to get there, cheapest way to get there would be to teleport. See, right, obviously it's not no runt. Let's see, Elpis. I believe we need to go to the 12 Wonders, but I don't remember. So let's check. Yes. No, it's over here. That's right. Okay. Yeah, because this is where you normally come in, but then it dropped us over here when we did. when we uh, started the quest. I gotta go ahead and fly on over. Let's take the teleport. I forget what they called these. Let's run on through the gates. And head on over to Eric and I forgot the other guy's name. The guy with the white robes. Who I think may be a Lydibus before he became a Lydibus. At least that's my guess at the moment. The question is why he has white robes before he's a Lydibus. Like, why does he have white robes at all? Is it because of the organization he's a part of? But he said he's supposed to be friends with Azim. Or maybe he means uh, Vana. Either way, let's go ahead and talk to Eric, and then we'll talk to Themis, and then we'll continue on. After witnessing the hippocamp hippocamp hippocampus' ability capabilities, I should not blame you for wishing to avoid engaging any further creations in the place of th their choosing. Alas, I doubt we ha will have that the luxury. The Fires of Creation Themis is pondering the road ahead. While our success in sealing away the hippocampus is certainly heartening, the fact that we have yet to see an, any other warden, warders concerns me. The key ward of Asphodelus is nothing if not cautious. Doubtless he has gathered the warders he could and retreated to a safe area. Let us hope so. It occurs to me that I know little of the key wards besides their magical prowess. Is there aught more you can share? Of course. A man named Hot Vampire Daddy. A man named Hesperos is in charge of Aspidelis. Not only does he have thorough knowledge of the creatures here, but he takes great pains to be a mentor to each of the warders under his charge. He has done much to ensure that I flourish here, in spite of my ineptitude at magic, and I have always known him to be the sort of man who faces difficult decisions with unwavering composure. Furthermore, key wards are not only masters of internment, they can also bend the hallways of pandemonium to their will with creation magics. Well, that doesn't sound like a- that doesn't sound dangerous at all. With all this in mind, I am certain that so long as Hes Hesperos guides us, the other warders are safe. Eric, I'm sorry to tell you this, but don't you see the pointed ears? This guy's definitely a vampire. I can see why absolute control over the environs is imperative. Had we faced the hippocampus upon arid sands instead of waterways, I suspect the battle would have ended much more quickly. It ended quickly anyway. I can- oops, yeah. In any case, if Hesperos is capable and caring as you say, we would do well to seek him out as soon as we can. He has like as not taken your colleagues to a secure location. The safest place would be the intermost circle of Asphodelus. From there, we they could flee to the Abyssos if hard pressed. Even the, should they have sought safe haven within the other circles, if we make for the fourth, we ought to encounter them on the way. Indeed, and we shall gain a comprehensive understanding of the situation within Asphodelus, which will be essential in determining whether we ought to continue down to Abyss Abyssos. The rub, of course, is that I myself possess no power to bend the circles to my will. Instead, 
we must proceed through the central corridor, which was barred by the Phoenix last I checked. Phoenix. Is that how you spell Phoenix? P H O I N I X. Uh, P H O I N I X. No, there's supposed to be an E there. How do you how do you pronounce this? I'm just gonna probably just say Phoenix. Or is it Phoenix? I'm just gonna keep calling it Phoenix. Phoenix. I've heard the name before. A fiery bird with life eternal. Excuse me, please inform me what's going on. Beyond unquenchable brilliance, the perfected concept boasts nigh boundless restorative powers, if I recall. Truly an exemplary feat of creation magics. Perfection is ever built on the back of failure, however, and the Habria sur suffered countless missteps during his experiments. And he was hardly the only one. This phoenix will be but one of many attempts at the con concept gone awry. I, far from evoking wonder, our phoenix is a creature of fury and wrath, and seeks only to turn the world to ash. Thus was it confined within pandemonium. Development of the concept continued elsewhere, but as the moons turned, more and more researchers abandoned the project as an impossibility, save for La Habrea and his words. When I received word that at long last La Habrea had succeeded where so many had failed, I was nearly overcome. Pray tell, how did the warders of Pandemonium celebrate his, their master's accomplishment? They didn't? I don't believe we did. The research of the words of La Habrea has little consequence to our work here, save for those rare times it char charges us with a new specimen. Truth be told, I don't remember anyone making note of the occasion. But enough reminiscing. We must make ready to confront the Phoenix. While it's possible that it flew off to some other wing of Pandemonium, we would make that assumption at our own peril. Better to assume that we'll need to bring Asphodelus we need to bring Asphodelus' most unruly subject to heal. I certainly see no reason to delay. The Phoenix's powers over flame will avail it far less in a barren corridor than anywhere else, so it may well serve us to subdue it sooner rather than later. What a lovely place. Is he something, Eric? Oop, there it is. Oh my. Well, so much for fighting him in a corridor. What? It seems whoever is behind this can alter the space around us at will. We face an uphill battle. Hold on, didn't you just talk about how the warders can manipulate this place? Impossible. If those were creation magics at work, then that means... 
Let us confront that reality after we have conquered the enemy in front of us. Every drop of our focus shall be required if we are to inf inter the phoenix. Asphodelus, the third circle, now accessible. Alright, oh, let's go ahead and uh, let's talk to Eric and Themis, and then I'll try and see if I can get some people to do this with me. Fight well, friend. We shall gain naught from allowing the larger implications of this to distract us from the fight ahead. The Phoenix's rage will be unbridled, but I trust you pr are prepared for the worst. Oh, don't worry, I'm used to slaying gods. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Let me see if somebody wants to join. There we go. Let's get started with Asphodelus, the third circle. Come on, healer. Don't make us wait. Come on, healer. Don't do this to us. All right. Wait, make a fire chicken. Mythic creation, the phoenix. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't look like any kind of phoenix I've seen. Oh, he's got aggro. Oops, okay. I'll need to remember that. I still had my uh, mitigation of those, so I was fine. Experimental fire, fire plume. Okay, I think I see how this is gonna go. Yeah. Scorped Exaltation. Don't you idiot, don't stand on me! <laughs> I'm moving out of the way so that I don't... I'm gonna go over here because this guy, these guys keep standing next to me. Darkened fire. Okay, apparently I'm not supposed to hit it. Ah, okay. That's how I thought it would work. Left cinder wing, let's not stand on the left side then. Probably shouldn't stand right in front of him. Make sure I pick up this one. Now, are we supposed to overlap them or not? Oh, 
He's got that one. Whoops, wrong one. I don't know how we're supposed to line this up, but I'm just gonna guess that we're doing this right. Okay, we're not supposed to stand inside of it. Okay. Yeah, that means we should overlap them. Dead rebirth. I should probably stand with everyone else. Right cinder wing. in a circle like that. Oops, stood right in this. Don't worry, bro, I got blood wedding. Don't stand on, don't stand next to me. I know I'm not in a good place, but I'm purposely trying not to, like, I'm trying to not stand on top of you. So can I, can I leap over there? Yes, I can. I didn't see what that attack was called. Don't stand in front of the fire chicken. I still got hit by one of them. Not hit, drop it right on him. Fire, one of the healers went down. Oops, got hit. There we go. That was a little tricky, but not too bad. I wonder how much worse the savage version is. I recall people hating this fight. Or loving it? I don't know. I don't remember. It was a while ago. Anyway, Eric's gonna seal him. That's one more... One more creature contained. What is this, SCP?
That definitely had some slightly trickier mechanics, but it wasn't that hard. Technically, some of these are upgrades. With that, the Phoenix is shackled once more. However, there is yet the matter of this... arena. As you've told us, there is but one person in Asphodelus with the ability and authority to wield such magics. Though, fortunately, it appears he has saved us the trouble of finding him. A contemptible display, as befitting an inferior specimen. Even so, I expected it would at least delay your advance. Imagine my surprise when I saw the chains of internment drag the phoenix back to its cage. Either the bird is even more of a failure than its creators care to admit, or you are by are no mean, or you are no mean, mean trespassers. That's supposed to be mere. I had hoped our suspicions were misplaced, but alas. Keyboard have Asparos? Why? Why have you brought such chaos to your beloved Pandemonium? Pandemonium. Pitiless, impenetrable, and utterly steadfast, unlike those charged with its keeping. What has possessed you? I don't understand! Oh, Eric, must you pester me with those inane questions? Think of for yourself. Surely you can muster a theory or two with your dim wit of yours. Then again, you have never been one for insight. Why Master Lahabrea suffers your mediocrity, I shall never understand. You, you may look like him, but you are not Hesperos, I know. Something has warped you too, from in the inside out. The keyword I knew had compassion for all those under his charge, but be they clad in robes or shackled in chains. What's that all a farce? Did you hide your contempt for all these years? Those who are content to merely glimpse the water's surface are doomed to be dragged into its depths. You prove my opinion of you with every word. My mind is clearer than it has ever been. Even now, seeing you feebly grasp for answers makes the bile rise in my throat. Such wasted potential! To be son to Master La Brea, yet no more skilled with magic than a newborn babe. But of course, it was always about La Habrea. Silence! You are not worthy to utter his name. For once, be grateful to witness a feat beyond your meager abilities. Beyond you, your shallow reckoning, I have slipped the surly bonds of mortality. I have become one with your mythic creations and rid myself of imperfections. I stand upon the threshold of godhood. As Hemitheus shall, I serve Master Lahabrea. 
ever faithful until the end of days. Uh oh. You know, lock us up. And he shall require no other. I think not. Are you so blinded by arrogance that you have lost sight of what it means to serve? Eric is more capable than you could ever know. It was thanks to his instruction that I was able to master the art of internment, both how to wield it and how to break free from it. Brilliant. Let us quit this place. Whatever poison has corrupted Hesperus' mind, it is plain this power far eclipses our own. We must have time to gather our strength. Flashbang! Hmm. Weaklings though they may be, it takes a singular aptitude to master internment so quickly. Say nothing of us swiftly that familiar laid low the phoenix. Regardless, their noble aims will be their undoing, where they fritter away their strength in calming the beasts of Asphodelus. I continue my work. Even should they survive long enough to reach the heart of my domain, naught shall await them but doom. I eagerly await your arrival, Eric. Even dullards have their uses. Daddy. Well, now it's been confirmed. I was pretty sure from the stuff I had read that Eric was La Habrea's son. But, uh, that was a confirmation. Okay, let's talk to Themis. Wrap this part up. My darkest suspicions have been realized. We face the keyword of Asphodelus himself. More than the re that revelation, however, Eric worries me. He loved his sparrows more for his compassion, but received naught but scorn from whatever the keyword has become. He has said little since our return. I only hope that the shock of recent events does not prove to be a death kneel, kneel, knell for his resolve. Okay, let's grab the crit materia. And there we go. 